Hello friends, my name is Shivam from DevOps Schools and I will help you to enable your learning process in various technologies of DevOps, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data and many more. This is our initiative to help you by sharing multiple tutorials and videos. And if you want any specific tutorials or any particular topic, then please do comment in the below comment section and I will help you with it. Also, please subscribe to our premium services on YouTube, which will give you access to more content and videos to enhance your knowledge about all these topics. Also, if you want me to help you with regards to the online trainings and classroom sessions, by our qualified trainers then do please do write me at uh, contact at devops school dot so what we'll cover here uh, we'll start from beginning like how the product structure will be built in atlassian product how their evolutions then architecture issue type version components and we'll create it uh, practically then we'll discuss about agile boards and the config uh, configurations like scrum canvas We'll do search and JQL uh, queries, and then Jira board customizations, and the end we'll see the administration part. And including this, we'll also go through about confluence. So these all the topic details which we'll cover it today, uh, starting from the issue types till the versions, components, creating projects, Scrum, Kanban. These all will be covered during this session. Uh, so just wanted to understand from your point of view, what you have expecting from this. Are you going to use just for the administrative part or you will be using this tool on DevOps perspective or Scrum perspective? So this will help me to teach you on that front or to consider the example on that front so that you're able to get maximum out of this session. So maybe you can unmute yourself and uh, let me know where, in which field you are going to use in terms of assign, in terms of DevOps or in terms of administration. Because whenever we are using Jira, these are having three different roles created. Anyone? Hello. Um just trying yeah. to use it uh, for DevOps. Okay. In some deployments and okay, fine. Any other? Yes, for DevOps. Okay, perfect. Cool. Then coming down to the Jira applications, it is an open source tool uh, used for managing project tasks, issue tracking, and other issues related to software and mobile application. It is a platform independent tool that can be worked with different types of operating system. When we are talking about Jira, originally it was designed as a tracker tool or different tracker tool uh, where the Atlassian has launched as a defect reporting tool. But nowadays, Jira has been um, become a more popular or powerful work management tool for all types of applications from requirement and test case management to Agile software. Nowadays, all the team members are using for their Agile need so that they can achieve their development goal as well as product goal. Jira software is a part of product family that has team of all kind to manage their jobs. Jira was originally designed as a tracker for problems and bugs management tool this is a product of atlassians initially it was launched in australia and as a defect reporting tool now this has become a complete project management tool when the name has been truncation of gojira which is the name called jira in japanese word that can be referenced to bug jira which was again our defect reporting and test case management tool of Mozilla, but the name comes from Godzilla. This tool has been created by using Java programming language. Jira has evolved into powerful work management tool for all kinds of use cases, considering requirement gathering, till the test case management, DevOps point of view, agile software development, and many other features are available in jira 
Now, the users are majorly into the requirements and test case management where the product team or the testing team can manage the complete requirement as well as create and submit their test cases. Jira for agile teams are majorly used across the globe where all the team members are collaborating each other and creating the success story or creating the product success story. All the team members, including development team, scrum master, DevOps, then QA, UAT, all the team members are connecting on a regular basis so that they can achieve the goal of project development. Project management teams are also using for tracking the report point of view, velocity chart, and any other charts which they want to check the product status or any certain or any narrow down criteria so that they can achieve the requirement related goals. Jira is again software development teams are also using to release the versions to create the project status and uh, all. DevOps teams are majorly using for moving from one release to the other release. Jira task management is used by several teams like HR, sales team, so that they can manage and track their resources. An ultimate goal of using the Jira by QA and UAT team for raising the defects. This is the architecture of Jira where you can see uh, if we are using cloud-based application of Jira, Jira is available into either we can install it in MPREPIS or we can use it cloud version of Jira for that we have to use the browser. So you can see your request will be sent through Seraph and here there is a web of Web work, uh, sorry, web work is actions where actions can be used for any uh, any relevant topic. Like if you're creating any defect, that defects can be considered as your actions. So it means you're requesting to the cloud so that it will log and detect with particular detail and that will be stored into the relational database management system. And at the time of searching that defect, you will get a response from uh, this relational database service and of which entity engine is working. So when you will get the returns uh, of this request, you will be able to notify with GSV server. Jelly is one of the components used for your action tracking and Jira utility and manager classes. So XML, RPC, and SOAP, these are the request methods are working in terms of remote protocols. So this is a small architecture about Jira. Lucent's index files are actually managing all of your index related data. At last in scheduler, let's say if you are using this application for automation point of view or automation activity. Hey viewers. Our Master in DevOps Engineering program can help you to hone the skills necessary to succeed in high-level DevOps positions. So what are you waiting for? Enroll now and earn certification that show you are keeping pace with today's technical roles and requirements. Contact info is mentioned in the video sidebars and in the description box. Book your seats for the upcoming batches now. At last in scheduler is helping you to achieve your automation goal. Now, coming down to the actual applications, let's go to the Jira and log in with our Jira Cloud credentials. Once I will log in, I will be able to jump into the screen because I am using many of the Atlassian's products. The Atlassian is having several products available in the market. So if you are the regular Atlassian product user, you will be able to see all of the options that are available. But if you are just using Jira for your project requirement, DevOps point of view, you will get this activities available for you because I am having all the products so you can see Confidence is also there. 
then Jira software and Jira service management, which is used for the ticketing system, as well as we have administrative control and Atlassian community as well. But if you have just created for Jira software, you will be able to see this icon. So let me select and get into it. Now, totally depending on your use cases on or on your credentials point of view, you will be able to jump on project page. And again, totally depending on your organization structure, you'll be able to see project list. Now I have created multiple projects because of that I am able to see these many projects. But in in your case, you might see only one project. And if you have only one project, it will directly jump into your main page on your dashboard page. So if you want to create a new project, simply go to here, click on create project, and it will navigate it to the project templates where you can select your templates. So in the initial point, when I said Jira will be used for different point of aspect. These are project templates created. If you are using for different aspects, you can use all this. Otherwise, let's say if you're using for human resource, so you have to navigate to here. And for that, you will create HR service management or blank project, totally depending on the requirement. If you're doing for the recruitment process, then you can select this here. You can monitor all your candidates and potentials have applications to offer. If you want to do the new employee onboarding related projects, select this template. So these all are by default templates created for you where you can create this for your project requirement. When you go to the finance, you can see these all templates are available. So irrespective of all the departments, this project has been created and here you have to select according to your need. Whenever you are working with uh, Jira um, applications, totally depending on your task, with totally depending on the work culture, you can select this options. So as of now, we are going to cover about SL methodology as well as project type, issue type, adding and deleting uh, custom fields. These all can be covered in Scrum board itself. If you want, we can also select bug tracking, but here you won't be able to have the access of your agile board because this will give you a template to create a project basically on defect reporting. So let's select this scrum board. And once you select this template, you'll be able to see detail about the templates. Here, the scrum templates helps team work together using sprint to break down your large activity complex project into bit size pieces of value. So let's say if you want, if you are working on any e-commerce site, which is a raw requirement received from the end user and your organizations are working into it, the fact is that product cannot be ready within a sprint or within a month. That will definitely take the time, right? So in that case, uh, your product owner or the scrum master will get connect together and divide this requirement to small form pieces. And these pieces can be covered into issue types like epic, story, bug, task, and subtask. So these all issue types are already available into Scrum board. So this is the detail of this template. Click on use this template and move further. Here, you will have two options that are available. If you are working as a maintained by your team structure uh, for teams who want to control their own activities, working process, and Hey viewers, trying to get into DevSecOps? Enroll for our DevSecOps certified professional programs and earn the certification that shows you are fit for these technical roles and requirements. Contact info is mentioned in the video sidebars and in the description box. Book your seats for the upcoming batches now. After the self-contained spaces, then we are using this board. Otherwise, if that template is going to be managed by company managed product, for that the administrator is managing all this, then we will use this structure. Again, Jira is totally a customizable product. We can customize it at any point of time depending on our need. So there is no hard and fast tool. We can select any of the template and 
we can customize it according to our requirement so let's add a devops tool session so you can see the project name has been added here and i am getting a unique key this is a unique key created by default but if you want you can add it once this key is generated and you have successfully landed into your home page of your project it's always suggested not to change it because this is a unique key used for any, any of your requirement if you want to change it you can make the changes from here onwards but after you are applying your automation script or after applying any any of the automation fillet it is always suggested not to change this key so this is the key generated by default where we can use for the api calling we can also use this key into jql queries in, in any number of use cases we can use this this is a unique key generated for every projects click on create project it will take two seconds and then this will makes you to jump on the main board where you can see the active space because we don't have any data inside this project we won't be able to see uh we will build it from scratch now i have a few more options to explain you into the project page here in the main project page you will see three dots are available these three dots will help you to move uh, to tasks as well as do the project settings so here we can perform any project related settings we can change any of the field criteria we will see in the administrative part now let's jump to our project So this is a roadmap which will help us to understand about project related needs. So let's say your product owner has uh, planned it for six months of project dividing into different different epics. And these epics are nothing but when we are talking about epic, epic is nothing but a small case where larger user story which is broken into sorry larger epics are broken into smaller smaller user story and that smaller user story is again divided into tasks and sub tasks based on the customer or end user need based on the customer and end user needs from where you have received the requirements okay and Epics are used to organize the work and to create a hierarchy. So the symbol of epic, you can see it here. When you want to create it, you can also go it here and, here and see the task story and epic. We can customize this issue type according to our project requirement. We'll see in the project settings. Are you with me? If you have any question, you can unmute yourself and let me know. Do you have any questions till now? So are you going to this side searching here? Are you going to uh, create any sample project here? So which uh, will consist of epic story and uh, task? Yes, yes, that will be covered into your syllabus. That's uh, I will go through all this whatever is uh, given to your into your agenda yeah so it will be very easy to understand yeah, yeah i will create one project structure and from there we will see uh, the uh, different different uh, aspects yeah any other person who is having queries um excuse me um what yes. is can you go to what um epic is again so epic is a bigger piece of work which can be completed uh, so that piece let's say if you are working into the e-commerce side and the development of e-commerce side is never being done in a one day or two day so uh, e-commerce e is having a product listing so if 
we have the product durations of more than a month or product or work duration of more than month two three months then we are adding uh, the epic is it clear so normally this is working actually this is a task which can be completed within one month to three months okay so in in summary epic is a task to do which has a timeline of between one to three months yes yes okay now let's so the roadmap will help you to understand uh, and even you can apply the filters based on weeks days and months and quarter as well to see the complete roadmap about your project so let me jump to the week sections here let's create one epic uh, so let me give you the use case here what we are going to cover it so Do you have any uh, examples which you want to cover it or should I go a bit uh, with my example? If anyone is having any project related uh, use case, I will take it. Database migration. Database by? Migration. Okay, database migration activity. So see the database migration activity. Yeah, you can list down me some of the activities which you are doing regular basis. Hey viewers, are you looking for formal training on SRE practices? Take our SRE program. This course will teach you how to successfully implement site reliability engineering in the modern day 24 into 7 services. Kickstart your SRE training today. Contact info is mentioned in the video sidebars and in the description box. Book your seats for the upcoming batches now. So that I can include into me and I need the complete duration because this is a complete project. If we will take it database migration activity, I don't think so that will last more than a week, right? So over there, we have to consider few more examples. Am I right? It will not go more than one week, right? Correct. Yeah. So I want to take some example of the projects which can last minimum six months so that we can add all the issue types and make you understand how we can use it in the regular lives. So if you don't have any example, I will take you simple example of e-commerce site, which is regularly used by all of the users or millions or billions of the user. Is that fine? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so by using this use case, we can relate ourselves because we are using this product. If I will take any other example, mildly you won't be able to understand the logic behind it in few of the epic. So in e-commerce side, let's consider Walmart.com. So you can see Walmart is having departments. In each department, you will find it out different sections, services, which all services they are providing like auto care center service, health service, uh, custom cakes, photo services, and financial service. A part of it, they have product listing, then account related information, card related information, as well as all my items. So let me take uh, these five uh, use cases into one epic so one is departments department second is services third is my items fourth account and fifth one is card section so these all five are functionality of this application or this website you can see the functionality number one two three four and five so let's add in terms of epic so here and selected departments uh, as one epic uh, to 
let's make it some okay second is so this is Okay, so these five epic are entered here. Post that. See, when I said epic can be covered within a month to three months. When we are working into the agile methodologies, that is agile is learning in sprint wise, and by standard approach, agile sprint is having two weeks of uh, time, which is fourteen days. But when we are calculating into a working structure or actual working days, that will comes up for 10 days in a week, uh, in 10 days in one sprint. So when we are considering this sprint approach, we will get only 10 days actual working days for any organizations which is having two days holiday into their uh, weekly structure. So it is not always possible to complete all the tasks in an epic so because of that it's divided into sprint uh, sorry it's divided into several further narrow down part that is called as user story so when we are creating user story you can also have tasks so user stories duration is one week to two week whenever we are creating any feature or adding any products that can be completed a duration of one week to two weeks which will have the main user story so in walmart departments definitely we will have electronics let me add some of the departments electronics then uh, in electronics we have a uh, uh, consumer durable kitchen item Then we have several other departments like okay, baby products, uh, garden, beauty, and all this. Baby products, garden, beauty. So these items is possible to complete it within uh, this user story. So that's why we are entering department, individual department related information into user story. So we, we can also add one more here like uh, fashion or clothing. Fine. Now, in another uh, epic, we can add about the services. So, which all services we will have here, like auto care, health service, registry, custom cake. Custom care as well as let's add a few more financial services and get inspired.
perfect so this is again completed now let's go to add my items in my items reorder list and registries cart will have product list then main page final amount okay now in account page we will definitely have a payment detail sign in then address past purchases rewards thanks for watching want to study further join our training programs today